But first, injured in Aggieville, so severe it put a K-State student from Wichita in the hospital. What happened? Even the survivor isn't quite sure. Cake News at 6 starts right now. Good evening, Raleigh County Police say they're investigating a serious injury involving a K-State student from Wichita found near Aggieville. Cake's Abby Ray joins us in studio now with the details. Abby? Yeah, the 22-year-old's father is speaking out on social media, calling the incident a brutal attack. Today, police are trying to sort through the facts. In the early morning hours Friday, police say a Wichita area woman sustained injuries and was found after walking home following a night out in Aggieville. Her father says she suffered two large lacerations to her head that required staples and stitches, multiple fractures to her skull and bleeding on the brain. He believes these injuries came from a blunt object attack. The 22-year-old K-State student was taken to the Manhattan ER and then the Topeka Trauma Center, where police say she is still hospitalized, but speaking with investigators. Police have not yet recovered an object or weapon, and they don't know how the young woman received her injuries. They say she's undergone extensive testing as investigators try to gather evidence. Police say they plan to download her Snapchat maps and retrace her steps to find additional leads. There have not been other violent incidents or reported injuries from people who went to Aggieville over the weekend. The Riley County Police say there is currently no ongoing threat to the public, but they are seeking out video evidence from locals in the area. So if you have any footage or other information that could be helpful in this case, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 785-539-7777. For now in studio, Abby Ray, Kick News on your side.